In this mini video, we're going to have a look at how Bootstrap can be used to style some content, in particular tables. After that, we're going to have a look at some of the reusable components that are available in Bootstrap for you to add to your website. In particular, we're going to look at forms and buttons. For the table, we're going to look at how to apply this styling to something we build from scratch. For the forms, we're going to do it the other way around and take a component straight from the Bootstrap documentation and then muck around with it a little bit. So once again, I'm starting with the Bootstrap starter template. Uh, the first thing I want to do is add a container, a responsive container, to put my content in. And then I'm just going to build a table from scratch in the normal way. Uh, this table is going to list a few different video games, as well as the main villains of each of those games. So I suppose you should consider this a minor spoiler alert. So I've added a few column headers. I'm now just going to add a few data rows to this table. As you can see on the right, uh, the table is actually a little bit plain. And that's because in Bootstrap, you have to opt in to have table styling. I'll show you how to do this just after I add some content. Before we do some table styling, let me quickly insert a few images I prepared in the directory already. And remember, to make them responsive in Bootstrap, we need to add this class IMG Fluid. As I mentioned, tables aren't styled by default, given their prevalent use in several other plugins. You have to opt in explicitly and that's done by applying the table class. So you can see already that after opting in, the table now looks rather nice, but we can continue to fine tune it. We can make it dark. We can make it borderless. And we can make it more compact. I quite like the default table styling though, so I'm just going to go back to that. But what I would like to do is give the header row a darker background. To do this in Bootstrap, I need to place it within a T head element and then apply the class T head dark to that. Lovely. Now to be consistent, I'm going to place the other rows into a T body element as opposed to a T head element. Then I'm going to clarify that game, main villain and picture are column headers which is useful information for users on screen readers. And then I'm going to make the game names in the rows uh, header cells as well. So our table's looking pretty funky, but is it responsive? Well, we can make it responsive using the table responsive class, uh, but that responsive behavior is a little bit different to grids. Rather than stacking, instead we are able to scroll from left to right when it doesn't fit on the screen. One final modification, let's make every second row striped. Lovely. Okay, so that's an example of how to build and style a table from scratch with Bootstrap. But one of the wonderful things about Bootstrap is that you don't always have to start with Scratch as it provides a lot of reusable components that you can exploit. For example, forms. Let's just copy and paste this example login form and then we can have a look at the different classes that are applied within it. So how does Bootstrap style this form? Well, first of all, note that all of the input elements here are grouped together with their labels in div elements. And then to each of these div elements, we apply the class form group. The exception being this last one, as we also need a form check class for the checkbox. We also need to apply a class called form control to the inputs that accept text. And the easiest way to see what this class does is to take it out and see what happens. Now, a fairly productive way to work with Bootstrap is to start with the reusable components that it makes available on the Bootstrap website and then adjust them to your needs. So I'm going to do that just now and change this button to a different design. 
Uh, there's many different classes related to buttons that I can choose from, for example, to express danger. Uh, but I'm simply going to change it to a button that has this outline design, which I think works a little better on this page. Nah, eh, maybe not. And that's all for this video. We looked at how to style tables, which we had to do using this opt-in. We looked at the responsive behavior of tables, which of course is slightly different from that of grids. And finally, we looked at how we could integrate various reusable components of Bootstrap, such as forms, buttons, and many, many more. Do check out the documentation. See you next time.